Hey, what is up budget gamers? We're back and we've gone shopping, this time trying to find a graphics card that really hits that pricing sweet spot and we've come back with another Jishuo badged card. Let's check it out. The $200 price point has for years been the true sweet spot of graphics card pricing and it's a price point the current market kind of sucks at hitting. When shopping at that price point for something with a warranty, the contents of this EVGA B stock box are the best you'll get from Team Green, but the card in this box should be thoroughly dismantled by the one in this Jishuo box. We've already looked at a Jishuo card before, if you missed that go check it out, and that restickered MSI Mac card was a standout performer, so we have hope for this one too. To back up for a second, the EVGA box contains a B stock RTX 3050, purchased for $170 during a midweek madness sale but which normally retails for over $210. Right away, that means that apart from special deals, even this card isn't available for $200 from Nvidia. It's a decent looking little card, however, with a compacted design that'll fit basically any case, a workable cooler, and a single standard eight pin power connector. Because it's B-Stock, it does come with only a one year warranty though. In contrast, our Jishuo card is available worldwide on AliExpress for $200, with shipping included and claims to come with a two-year warranty. Looking it over, this is obviously just a restickered power color fighter, which means it's an AMD card, in case the Radeon badging didn't give that away. It's as compact as the 3050, also has a workable cooler on it, and likewise sports a single 8-pin power connector, so upon cursory inspection, it looks like this should be a pretty fair comparison. But while I keep the exact identity of this card quiet, I will say that visual inspection Maybe the last time this is a fair comparison, because on paper, this is catastrophically lopsided. Anyway, let's find out how these Wii Baby cards perform, but first, as always, a quick look at our test bench. Hitting both cards with our lone synthetic, 3D Mark Fire Strike results in an absolute bloodbath with Navi hitting Ada harder than Mark Marquez hits a gravel trap. This is not an amazing start for Team Green's best budget option, but maybe in real games it fares better. And a quick note, for consistency purposes, the Jishuo results will be listed on top in every screen going forward. Fortnite is a real game and one that has heavily favored Nvidia cards since before time began. Using the high preset, then turning draw distance to epic, and to disabling both Nanite and Lumen, the Jishuo Radeon surges past 100 FPS on average with a 1% low of almost 80. In contrast, the 3050 puts up an average of 69 FPS with a 1% low of just 50. Apex Legends is another esports title that has a lust for Nvidia, so we'll hold out hope for a close call here. Using DX12 with all the highest settings apart from spot shadows, the RTX 3050 does put up a respectable 126 FPS average, but gets smashed against the walls of King's Canyon by the Jishuo Radeon and its 160 FPS average. Still, at least the Nvidia average is above the AMD 1% this time. Looking now to games that are more balanced in their treatment of red versus green, we get to Forza Horizon 5, where the Ultra preset with hardware RT disabled sees another pair of exceptionally playable results, but still with a chasm between them. Our imported power color with an identity crisis once again pushes into the triple digits, averaging 110 FPS with a minimum of almost 95, while the RTX 3050 lags behind in the low 70s. Horizon Zero Dawn can be made to look stunning on either card, and for a solid mix of performance and visuals, the favor quality preset works well on both cards, at least in absolute terms. The 120 FPS average and 107 FPS 1% low put up at the $200 Jishuo both dwarf the 91 FPS average of the EVGA 3050. Just to be gluttons for punishment though, we'll soldier through one more massacre, I mean benchmark, and say it was for statistical validity. Halo Infinite works really well using the high preset on both cards, and the 3050 does deliver an admirable 73 FPS, but at the risk of becoming a trope, the Jishuo card obliterates the best budget offering from Nvidia. The Smart Shopper's Radeon grabs an average of over 90 FPS with a 1% over 80, which is yet again higher than the average of the 3050. So then what is the mystery Jishuo card that has manhandled the best budget offering of Nvidia? If you hadn't guessed, it's an RX 6600 XT. That does mean it's kind of pushing the limits of the Power Color Fighter cooler, which really works best on cards with TDPs under 150 watts, but the 6600 XT is barely above that and stays acceptably cool. Plus, the fin stack runs the length of the card rather than the width of it, 
so even in small cases, it does a better job venting heat out the back than some otherwise better cooler designs. Overall, for essentially all use cases, this Jishuo slash PowerColor 6600 XT undoubtedly gets a buy recommendation just on performance alone, but doubly so when you factor in how badly it embarrasses the price competitor from Nvidia, and that's without including franchises like Call of Duty or Battlefield which heavily favor AMD. Gamer, streamer, content creator, whatever you are, it's a more powerful card that's almost always less money to buy. But wait, you say, we forgot that Nvidia has NVENC and that makes it great for budget streamers. Well, about that. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side here using both cards onboard encoders. This is captured with the same settings in OBS using HEVC hardware encoding on both cards. First, notice that the performance delta between the two is still enormous. And then second, notice what you aren't noticing a marked difference in visual quality. It's hard to spot differences working with the uncompressed footage and resolve, and it's probably indistinguishable after YouTube compression. With that, the AliExpress card fully asserts its dominance over the 3050, making it the clear budget buyer's choice. And with that shocker, we'll come to an end. Thank you all for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one.